morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Wednesday, May the 20th, 2020, and this is episode 3,291. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Disinfecting. Stay tuned. Well, as we all know, this is a crazy time that we're living in, right? And there's a lot written and posted, printed, talked about regarding the importance of disinfecting. I have disinfectant spray. I have disinfectant wipes. I have disinfecting... Uh, hand sanitizer, all of those things to try to keep ourselves clean, right? I have uh, a can that I'm holding in my hand right now. Uh, It's uh, antibacterial spray disinfectant. My wife messaged me. She said, do you need any more spray? And uh, I said, I don't think so, but she had already gotten it for me. But what I do like about this is uh, the all the disinfectant sprays that I have are fresh linen scent. And I'm just getting a little tired of that. Can I just say that? So I'm really excited about this one because this one says Hawaiian scent. Well, as important as it is to disinfect physically to protect yourself from illness, it's also important to disinfect spiritually, right? Like Jesus said in John fifteen three, you are already clean because of the word I have spoken in you. In Ephesians five twenty six, referring to the church to sanctify her, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word. So my challenge to you, my encouragement to you today And by the way, it is spring, right? So that's the time that we focus on spring cleaning. May I just encourage you as you're washing your hands and as you're spraying the disinfectant, as you're doing those disinfectant wipes on the gas pump handles, can I just encourage you to think about disinfecting spiritually? Let me give you seven little steps for you to consider today. The first one is this. Cleanse your heart to become spiritually healthy. I like what David said, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Or like Paul said in Hebrews 10, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Spiritual disinfecting. Or how about this? Deep clean your mouth, inside and out. (laughs) Spiritual cleansing requires deep cleaning. It's housekeeping that goes beyond what others see and hear. It's a cleansing from within and a cleansing without. Luke 6.45 says, The good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart, and the evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For out of the overflow of his heart, the mouth speaks. So be very careful about what you say and what you think. You see, as your heart gets clean, your language should follow. This is not just talking about bad language, you know, cursing and so forth, but also negative, critical, pessimistic thoughts that can be a problem. Number three, renew your mind. This is one of the biggest areas of struggle for most people because we accumulate garbage. You know, on my phone, I have this app and every once in a while I run it because my phone just accumulates a bunch of garbage and you just have to clean out the cache and the temporary internet files, right? Same thing with renewing your mind. Romans twelve two says, do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed. By the renewing of your mind. How about this? Clean out your spiritual closets. Now, hidden sin will destroy your life. 
It'll ruin your capacity for peace and even affect your physical health. The Bible talks about confessing our sin. Tell someone, reach out for help. When your spiritual closets are clean, then the heaviness from all that stuff will begin to lift. David said this in Psalm 32, verse 3, When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave me the guilt of my sin. How about this? Release unforgiveness and bitterness. You see, any sin will weigh you down, but long kept, held, (laughs) captive unforgiveness and bitterness is like old baggage in the attic that you can't seem to part with. So, Hebrews 12, 1, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily hinders our progress. Involve Jesus in your daily life. You see, every morning I take vitamins, right? Every morning I wash my hands, I wash my face. There needs to be a daily ritual of spending time with Christ, spending time in his word. And then finally, learn to laugh at yourself and at life. You know, some of us take life too seriously, right? We take ourselves too seriously. Jesus wants you to enjoy yourself and learn to enjoy his presence. God made you for his pleasure. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and I am helped. My heart leaps for joy and I will give thanks to him in song. That's what David said in Psalm 28 and verse 7. So, How about doing a little disinfecting today? Father, thank you for the amazing ways that your word just cleanses our hearts, renews our minds, gives us new direction, new perspective. Father, help us to stay clean for you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmana.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Have a great day. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.